Hello people, how are you doing? Welcome to episode uh, 16 of my Let's Play. You can see I made a small change in here. Uh, essentially, well, I had to change a little things and I believe I changed them wrong. <laughs> that is me uh, making stupid mistakes since uh, forever. Anyway, what I intend to do is to apply painting upstairs if I can manage to find them all that is yeah I supp I think I did so what I'm going to do is uh, essentially place the access tubes in here yeah now blue blue goes in here then I will cover them with the marble brick covers because that way I can, uh, well, you might remember from my previous Let's Play that I like to uh, rig this uh, storage thingy so it can essentially uh, provide items when I require it to. That means uh, using logistic pipes and uh, I can't use logistic pipes for well with uh, in, with what's in a, uh, with covers covers only will work with uh, essentially and there we go perfect covers will only work with uh, at least for now red power to tubing that means uh, I need to apply the covers either up uh, on the top of the chests or in the back. So I will be applying co uh, the logistic pipes down here when I reach that point. And for that I will have to place some covers down here too. Uh, there we go. Stone cover shall be okay. Perfect. You don't really need to place the covers because logistic pipes won't connect to pneumatic tubes, but I like to do that. It's uh, it it uh, well, it's a little nicer that way. Looks better. And there we go. Perfect. Crisis averted, so to speak. So we now have the chests in here connected to the sorting machine the way we want them and we also can connect the logistic pipes without any kind of trouble and something else I am doing right now is as you can see here a small project uh, to spawn monsters and see them well I have to take a look at here because I was a little too trigger happy with the philosopher's stone uh, but anyway, what I intend to do here essentially is a moth grinder. So, and as you can see, it's in still, it's, it's, yeah, it's inside of the envelope of our um, Anchor system. And uh, I hope uh, moths will spawn and will die and will provide me with goodies. For example, zombie brains. I will finish this later anyway. Our coke oven is working good. Our plantation up there is mostly <coughs> replaced with uh, uh, has uh, well I mostly replace the wheat with uh, flax and uh, there are good amount of uh, Uh, of pumpkins. Sorry, I'm with. Uh, I'm a little down with the flu right now. And as you can see, the great woods uh, are not uh, uh, growing. By the way, I had a small idea about uh, quaesitum. Uh, steady supply of paper and uh, three cobblestone generators for endless 
research supply without much trouble. Nothing really, uh, nothing really fancy. Just uh, sta uh, quite standard. And that's mostly all. Let me check how much uh, diamonds do I have. The storage for now, these sugar canes. And we can think, uh, no diamonds are not in here, ain't they? Let's move this, for example, to here. Now, where do I have the diamonds? There we go. I have eight diamonds. That's enough to craft uh, two diamond gears. Which, well, diamond gears, as you know, require four diamonds, and we can cr use diamond gears to craft uh, several build craft items like the builder, the architect table, the quarry, the refinery. The quick sort module, the remote orderer, the assembly table, and item teleporting pipes. Usually, my first item with uh, diamond gears is the quarry, so why don't we craft that? We're going to need huge amount of gears, but uh, fortunately, I believe we already count with all those resources, at least partially. Uh, yeah, iron gear and we don't need the others. We are going to need one, two, three, four, I believe. And uh, we're going to be... No, we're going to be good. There we go. Two diamonds gears, two golden gears, uh, three iron gears, a piece of uh, redstone, and we only need now a single item in here, which you might remember we already have a diamond pickaxe. Now, th this diamond pickaxe needs to be in perfect working order. If you use it a little, it won't work. Let's, um, for example, do this. See, it doesn't work now. However, thanks to the talisman of repair, we can get it back in working order and get our hands in the quarry. Now, I do have a small problem with the quarry. Well, in fact, I do have two problems with it. First, uh, I don't have any kind of way right now to take the items I... I extract using the quarry into my sorting system. I need to add uh, an item teleporting pipe and uh, that means I need another 8 diamonds. Oh look, uh, a slime. Oh dear. Uh, I w as I was telling you, I'm going to require teleporting pipes, because if not, the length of the piping system can be really astonishing. I am also going to need some sort of power source for the quarry, and that involves uh, essentially this little system in here. Oh dear, which uh, doesn't seem to have enough power to run by itself more than a few minutes with three charcoal on each slot. But hey, we got a huge amount of wood. Another good thing about uh, transmutation is that we can directly use the... Um, we can directly turn the sand that gets produced by this system into... Um, into dirt, which allows us to essentially waste only some time and the appetite ore. Another thing we need to consider is that uh, the quarry requires a chunk loading block if we want it to work, and since the 
anchor blocks are exceedingly expensive, I'm going to craft another version of the of the of this. Now this version is previous to the anchor blocks, and uh, it's it comes with the teleporting pipes. Assuming, of course, it hasn't been removed because I didn't saw it or I didn't try to craft them. Yeah, there we go. Teleport tether. They are not using in anything, and they were called before chunk loading blocks. I suppose they work the same now. So essentially, what we are going to do is to place a quarry with a chunk loading block on this, on, on it, and uh, we are going to require. Let me think for a second. At least four t uh, item teleporting pipes, which is not really a problem because when you craft uh, one item teleporting pipe, you are not crafting one but four at once. Yeah, sorry, four, not uh, eight. You craft eight at the same time. So I am going to get my hands on this Eternalis fuel, which has conveniently developed. And I am going to get my clean star, which allows us to not need right now um, a burning system. Oh, let's discover the lava bucket just in case. And by placing here the clean star and here this, yes, transmutation fuel, but we don't have a lock right now. Perfect. Essentially, I turned uh, one eternalis fuel into one diamonds. Uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one transmutation. And we are going to need at least three more, which is a shame. Let's see what can we do with uh, some silver. Ah. Stack of silver equ equates to th uh, four diamonds. Great. So we're going to need two iron gears. We're going to need uh, eight gold. Oh. There we go. And so let's uh, craft things quickly. Haha. <laughs> There we go, two diamond gear. Now we get a single piece of glass. And ta -da, item teleporting pipe. Great. Now uh, we require energy to run the system, and well, we're going to use four, as I said before. And uh, you can turn item teleporting pipes into other kind of teleporting pipes. Essentially, with pipe waterproof, which you craft by smelting cactus into cactus green, then uh, using the cactus green met well, working whatever, and working grease in here, for example, directly, you can turn them into the uh, oh dear into the pipe waterproof and with redstone we turn them into power teleport pipes so by doing this and this we now have the power teleporting pipe we required so I'd say we're uh, essentially good to go we only need to find a place to, uh, where to install our quarry and of course we need to state a receiving system the most uh, simple receiving system involves this and this, like so. It's not pretty, but it can receive and it's frequency 1. You can see it's a similar graphical user interface to the one if the t in the teleporting pipes, uh, sorry, to the one in the wireless redstone, in the classic wireless redstone, 
and uh, well, since the new Chicken Bones edition wireless redstone is based upon that, then it's logical they have uh, similarities. And uh, I am thinking, I am thinking, I am thinking dangerous activity, by the way. Yeah, this goes in here. I will place the yeah to the south i d I never got there ah yes of course i think I was thinking I needed to craft a build craft energy system okay I have three steam engines which uh, are a good start uh, <coughs> or I can craft myself some more uh, solar panels and some <coughs> sorry <coughs> some of these electrical engines they do not uh, use too much power they do not produce too much power and they suck electricity like uh, starving madmans but they they essentially work for free <coughs> once you place them they will work without pause forever as long as it's daytime of course uh, so uh, since we are going to travel <coughs> a little, let's use the. Let me see this. Ah, the zoom works there. Okay, let's let me check something for a second. <coughs> uh, a big block. <coughs> No idea. Oh, J, of course. So we have a small problem in here because I thought the J key was for pick block, but somehow it's also assigned to zoom. So we have a slight problem with this. And, well, Oh look, there's a crystal in there. Mm. Perfect. So let's grab it. Mm -mm -mm. Good place. The only problem with using snow biomes to mine with a quarry is that if it snows uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure if the quarry will try to mine the snow. Oh, I also tried in a test world to see the effects of a quarry over crystals. And uh, you might be happy to know that, unlike in previous versions of Buildcraft and with several items, the game won't crash. However, oh, and this I made it before because this oil spawn was going a lot down there and was quite annoying uh, I was telling you about the crystals, yes, they, they will drop to the ground they will simply drop so if there's one crystal uh, there spawned and the mining uh, the quarry gets to it it will leave it, left it like so not really a, a great deal but oh well and I was telling you about the other the other system. Um, yeah, uh, there was a time where uh, the the quarry wouldn't try to drill to mine the the rest power to wiring. I use it in uh, in one or two contraptions, to be precise, in a, a in a sort of uh, well tree login system. Okay, okay, I'm going to need one golden conductive pipe and we're good to go. But uh, well it's uh, that stop uh, that ceases to work a long time ago. So uh, I'm going to place here the golden conductive pipe, here the teleport pipe, I'm going to place here the chunk loading 
up. I don't know if I should replace it in here, but uh, I suppose it's it keeps at least at a three by three like the other one. And so I'm going to need another transport pipe. Okay, this goes to frequency one, which means it's connected. You can see it in here, connected pipes one to my main sorting system in the base. And in here, what you need it's not connected to anything. It has to be receiving. And I'm going to place it on frequency one. I usually place uh, quarries on frequency 100 or something. But for now, I believe we're good, like so. As for getting back home, Yeah, let's abuse, abuse it right. Ta-da! It's the best way to travel. So, right now I have uh, the quarry connected. Everything it produces is going to go through this pipe into my chest in here. And so we'll, it will be sorted. Uh, I might change this light, this Lord chest in the future, but uh, for an Ender chest, in which case I will probably remove these two and place in here another basalt block, so I will be able to use it to access the rooftop, removing this from here, and uh, I will have the this pipe in here and the teleporting pipe in there much uh, a little more compact yet still not uh, really visual visually great and uh, i'm going to storage these crystals by the way i made some more discoveries in between recordings let me show you with the thaumonomicon which is in here but nothing really interesting. I mean, seven leech boots, which require boots of striding, which I don't know how to craft. The shovel of renewal, the stabilized singularity. Yay! This accelerates the working of any item it is placed in. The thomic crystallizer we already knew. The thomic enchanter. Considering I, I don't know how to create uh, extract of purest magic, it's quite useless. The Thomic Restorer. A traveling trunk we already know. Oh, the Totem of Dusk. I was researching tainted locks and I discovered the Totem of Dusk. I prefer to discover the Totem of Dawn, but oh well. And nothing else. So there we there we are. I already replaced the crucible with the advanced version, and I still didn't found uh, the damn well, which means, as you can see, my crystals are growing like madman. <coughs> the moment I can, the moment I can, I finally find it, I will have a lot of crystals to to gather. By the way, you can turn the these ores into normal systems. Okay, perfect. So that's it for now. I need to craft myself now the production system. I might uh, make an effort and go with the uh, with the, uh, what I told you before, which requires for me to craft some more uh, solar panels, and I will do that, and I'll be, I'll be back with you when I finish with it. And here we are, crafting the solar panels. I had enough materials for 12, and so I will make one of them uh, low voltage solar panel. I was hoping to craft uh, more, but this is more than enough. So the stone gears require some tin around them to turn into tin gears, but with 10 I'm not sure if I would... Yeah, it's more than enough for 5. 
So this in here, this in here, and this in here, and I now require some more uh, items, precisely pistons. There we go. Five electrical engines should be more than enough. So let me store it again. Everything. Uh, I'm not going to need a light voltage transformer. And everything else is okay. So let's place it in here. For example, yeah, all bars and the cobble, and nothing else because uh, everything else is not really inside the system per se. Okay. And I am going to need uh, cabling, so should be okay with the uh, copper cable, at least for now. Oh, monsters nearby. Okay, I, I crafted myself some golden cable to make sure things will go right. And I just realized how a fool I am. Uh, if you remember... Okay, you can see there's no sun painted in there, while there is in here, that's because uh, solar panels require di directly line of sight with, uh, with the sun to produce electricity. So, whoops! Let's uh, enlarge this a little and we can... There we go. Well, let's move this one from here so it won't uh, disturb our... There we go, and there we go. <coughs> our glass in here. So, uh, now is a good time to use the sprayer into here and remove the excess foam there we go, perfect. Now while it looks, uh, well, right, not right now, but when it will, yeah, it will look nice and it will still work as uh, a cabling. And you can see the bat box is uh, filling nicely. Now I don't need a golden cable for this, I will be using regular copper cable. One, two, mm, uh, something like that. And uh, okay, this, this, and this, and this gives me four. Let's place another one in here, another one in here, and we now require another of well. And right, not right now, because right now would be useless. Uh, let me graft this, this, and this. Place this in here. Yeah. And this in here. And in here we connect it to frequency 1. Can receive false. Okay, now we, you can see there's a mess here. The the engines are placed like they like to, so we are going to craft ourselves one of the uh, one of the craft recipes for managerial managerial stuff. We require one iron gear, and I should have some iron. Well, let's grab it all and see how much we need. I believe three is more than enough, but seems like no. Okay, I did something wrong. Let me check for a second. Ah, it uses a stone gear, not a, not an iron gear. Sorry, my bad. Oh, I'm going to need some stone for that. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, I don't have any cobblestone on me. There we go. Mm. 
stone gear <clears throat> and some iron and we get our wrench. Now the wrench is a very useful system, material, whatever, that helps you uh, modify those craft stuff like rotating the engines. Of course this engine this engines come comes from forestry but uh, that's not really relevant right now. There we go, perfect. Now we have a slight uh, additional problem we need to solve, which is uh, a redstone signal is required for the system to work. So I'm going to place here this, and I'm going to place here this. Perfect. And now let's get some red alloy wire. And it's raining outside. With a storm. I hate this kind of stuff and we need to connect them together let's uh, graph the white insulated cable and we find there's a problem now this is something useful added into the previous patch of industrial craft 2 you can see emitive full emitive partially filled emitive empty do not output energy do not out output energy unless full nothing emitted full. So I suppose nothing means uh, if receiving redstone signal do nothing. Or, or at least I hope it will be like so. So let's check this out. Yes, it's working beside, uh, even when receiving redstone. And since it's raining and it's night time, I will wait for daytime and we'll see something nice before coming back before coming back to you. And fortunately, well, you can see the portal in there. Fortunately, it has stopped raining. So let's hit this and let's see if we can reach uh, the top and see how this is working. Yes. You can see the system is uh, working by itself. It's a temporary access, just that. And we can see one of the drones from the latest uh, versions of Buildcraft helping the uh, construction of the item. Okay, now the system is working. Let me graph my remote order. And let's make our way home, so to speak. Okay, it's now producing, it's now mining by itself. You, you can see there's a steady stream of power coming here and items are being taken inside of the of the teleporting pipe. So let's go and see how things are working in here. Well, you can see it the dirt is coming here. So we start uh, working the system. It will try to get first the items in here. It's uh, rather annoying when you get one item to another item, one item, another item, etc. And it will locate the items by itself without any kind of trouble. We should be seeing something reaching the extractor soon, unless something is messed up down there. Okay, it was just taking its merry time before starting to work. Yeah. <clears throat> so now, essentially, I can completely forget about uh, about this system. Uh, knowing that, well, it is mostly emptying completely the bat box, but uh, when it does, it will still produce uh, build power energy. Oh, we can't access the bat box from here. See how nice it looks? It doesn't look like any kind of, uh, I don't know, ugly cabling or whatever. Anyway, even if the bat box is completely empty, it is still outputting enough energy for all these five engines to work. And I could craft a sixth one and it will still work perfectly enough. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug or something. Anyway, 
we have now started our Buildscraft system and the sorting machine is working so for now let me check how we are on frames per second. 16. Something is not really funny right now. Uh, essentially, the problem comes from the tick. I seem to have some sort of uh, disagreement with all the clocks from Elorams. Mostly, it might be the graphical resources investment. But uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's strange how always when I turn on a single clock, my frames per second go down. It's a little shame, really. And if we turn it off, tada, magically our lag reduces. Right now I have some steady spikes of lag because of the. And yes, I still have tick. Oh, it might be also because of the um, of the Buildscraft energy production. I have a lot of cabling and the like. I don't know. Maybe an, an adding of fact of different factors. Anyway, since I don't really need it, I am going to leave the system off for a moment and let it work its way without my help and the like. So this has been this episode 15. I hope you liked it. And I will work next, uh, pro maybe, on um, a forestry machine for automatically harvesting uh, all this rubber, sticky resin and the like. Or I could uh, transform these steam engines into electrical ones. Anyway, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you around. Bye!